They're either in this cove or they're in that cove to the right. Come on, baby, eat it. Been fishing uh, lee shorelines all morning and with very little success. Makes it a lot prettier fishing them lee shorelines. And yeah, we saw a big fish, they just weren't eating, so sometimes coming to a windblown bank makes a big difference. The fish don't seem quite as uh, wary. They don't care about that plug landing next to them. They don't move from it. Especially when you're trying to catch a nocturnal eating fish in the daytime. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So sometimes the wind, blo wind blowing shores pan out. Oh, oh there no. you go. Garbage Good man. Snook. Good snook, nice brother. Snook. Good one. See, you used to, nice you used snook. To glowing long oh, enough. Oh, that's a good fish. You used to glowing long enough, something's going to eat it. Nice fish. Nice fish, Mr. Mihailov. Look how silver this one is. Yep, he's definitely, definitely just got in here. Oh, he's looking good, too. Beautiful. That one right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. This is a nice one, huh? Here, you want to get your hooks out? Oh, it just got You've got a face full of mirror lure. <laughs> hey, I got one here. All right, uh, this, this wind-blown bank. Look how that beautiful snook. Just like the mentality of bass fishing, y'all. You get on a wind-blown bank like this if you want to catch some good fish, if you're not getting them on the, uh, on the slick sides. And, uh, Here's your payday right here. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> Good job, Kevin. <sighs> Off he goes. Well, that's the way to do it coming back from a commercial break, huh? <laughs> Catch the biggest one so far. Unbelievable. If y'all ever get a chance to do this, make sure you come down here with Kevin. He will put you on the fish. Like I said, it's in the middle of the winter time. You guys up there freezing, you're thinking, man, I wish I'd go to the Everglades and go snook fishing. Here's your man right here. Come on with it. Let's get another one. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes I catch some big snook in this pocket. And try one back by that tree. Big snook, Blair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go to the back of the boat. Go to the back of the boat. Come on, baby. You're going to come to me, Papa. Oh he's, my goodness. That's a big nice snook. He's man. the garbage man. He definitely nice garbage snook. that one. <laughs> Just annihilated that plug. Pa -pow. I'll try to troll you more. You're off the bank. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't know if there's any fish on this bank, but we'll give it a shot. Nice. Oh, oh man, that hole, be careful, the hole plugs down in there. Nice. Dang. Oh, man, did he did he want that mirror mullet or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need your pliers, buddy. Wow. Tell you what, brother, after those smaller ones this morning, that one right there is definitely what we came to the Everglades for. That's what everybody comes to the Everglades for, nice isn't work. it? That was a great fish, man. Man, what a beauty. Let's let him go. Suck on the bottom here. God, you can't even see him in the water, and he's only he's in the water. <laughs> Sucking on your thumb. Sucking on my thumb. There he goes. Off into the black water. Beautiful. That's what people nice come job. to the Everglades for right there, brother. They had nothing better than big snook on top water plugs. You, you can't be, especially <laughs> right in the middle of December. Excellent. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a little chilly this morning, but we're still in our summer clothes. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. We're going to get re-rigged. See if we can show you another snook on top water in the middle of the day, in the middle of the winter. We'll be right back. Oh, I just got a big fish right there. 
Nice uh -huh. fish, Blair. That's a nice fish. That is a good one, brother. 